to do an increase. Your most basic kind of increase is what they call knit front and back. I'm not going to do it on the first stitch because generally you never want to make any of your shaping or your increases and decreases in your actual first stitch. So I'm going to work one stitch as a selvage stitch. And then I'm going to do my increase in the next stitch. So for the knit front and back, it's just like it sounds. We're going to knit into the front of this stitch just like we normally do. But instead of taking it off the needle, we're going to leave it on the needle. Give yourself plenty of slack here and come around and work into the back of that stitch. So come under, wrap the yarn around, and bring it right back through and then off. So now we have two stitches from that one stitch. You'll notice that the stitch that we increased has a strand of yarn across the front of it, making it look kind of like a purl stitch. Let's look at this again. Work into the stitch, just like a standard knit stitch. Leave that stitch on the needle and give yourself plenty of slack here. Come around and work into the back of your stitch and bring the yarn through. You go. There's a knit front and back. It's also called a bar increase because of that, that bar that sits there.